All right, guys, welcome back to episode 86 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got Jay over here. The dogs are in the back. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Went down in the description and got yourself some merch. Don't forget to do just that. Hit the description. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself some merch. <laughs> fucking like. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that, that fucking notification bell so you're notified every time we drop, guys. Boy. But how we feeling today, boys? How we feeling? How we feeling? Man, I feel like a sunburned piece of shit. You, feel, um, you look like a... Sunburned piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah you look like, like Larry the Lobster. Yeah, mm. like I went out there and fucking mm. fell asleep for six hours. I look like a fucking golden retriever right now. I like it. You know what I mean? I got the fucking gold Yorkshire beard. Terrier face ass. Yeah. <laughs> Super shiny in the head. Um, but yeah, man. It's but we Florida. feeling good, guys. We feeling good. Fucking Jay's over there looking marvelous with hey, his jury curls you. dripping on his fucking out and John's. They're not dripping enough. They're That's the problem. I'm today. I need to Drip. splash this guy with some water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bless every all the bitches in here with the water. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yeah, I'm just gonna go like that and let it get oh, people. Yeah. Demons are gonna oh, come out of me. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. You ever seen that? But listen, shit? guys. Round of applause for all the mothers out there. It's Happy Mother's, Mother's day. day. You know what I'm saying? Happy Mother's Day. By the time this drops, of course, it ain't, ain't going to be Mother's Day. But the day we record in is Mother's Day. So it's Mother's Day every day. Happy Mother's Day to y'all. Don't be a piece of shit. Show love to your fucking mom more than once a year. How about that? And if How you don't that? got a mom, fucking... Yeah, if you don't got a mom, man, hey, man. Rent to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> rent a mom. Rent, rent a mom. mom. Not even. Just fucking hit up your grandma. If your grandma not around, then just rent a fucking grandma around the corner. Just like what you said, yeah. Yeah, bro. Listen, fucking red grandma. They should do that. They should do that. I mean, they should, right? They probably should. <laughs> but now, nah, <Yeah>. guys, <laughs> getting into something I want to get into, man. <clears throat> it's crazy how nowadays you got to watch out, like for kids, right? Kids being fucking menaces to society. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, if you was gonna get shot, it was most likely gonna be by an adult. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You, you an adult, <laughs> you're probably gonna get shot by another adult. Nowadays, these motherfucking jits don't care bro and what i'm talking about specifically is allegedly pop smoke was killed by a 15 year old wow a 15 year old allegedly ran into the house <coughs> while pop smoke was taking a shower this is all a legend we don't know but uh he was taking a shower supposedly the man's ran in there with a gun he tried to fight you know what i'm saying and it just went left the kid ended up shooting <laughs> him in the chest but it just goes to show you man like you you can't you can't sleep on nobody, bro. Hell no. That's you can't nuts. sleep on anybody, bro. A 15-year-old. I would have never thought. When I first heard the story, I definitely didn't. I thought it was like some thing. grown yeah, gangbang and no, shit. You know, real. I'm like, yo, you know, he's a crip. You know, he let it be Gangs known and though. shit. And yeah. it's like, you know, like. And they got away with his rollie. I think they got two grand for it. So 2K, that's what they got Two for. grand? Yeah. Yo, Pop a- probably paid like 35 for that shit, bro. Yeah, bro. But and they, they always that. And they killed him, too. You see what I'm saying? For 2K. That kid's life's fucked. For that it. goes to show you, bro. Like the bro, the love of money is evil, man. Yeah, like, that shit don't make you do some shit, bro. Cause for damn, bro, for two grand, taking somebody's life, ruining your own life. Now you're gonna have to sit in prison probably for the rest of your life, bro. And California state prisons ain't no fucking joke. Bro. Nah. You're going there at 15. Bro. Like, oh, you kill pop? That was oh, my you kill pop. Yeah, bro. Hey, we cripping over here. <laughs> nah. Yeah. We looking over here, nigga. Yeah. So what you gonna do? Like, oh, I'm yeah. telling you, bro, like nah, it's a whole different thing when it's gangs involved, bro. Yeah, yeah. you, you know, kill like, a member, you kill part of the family. Hey, bro. I'm gonna kill you. And and when it's somebody that's a factor that's bringing the gang in money like that. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, but that's a factor. That's a fact. He was probably feeding them. You know what I mean? Like, Of course, brother. He grew, probably grew up with them. Yeah. You know, there's people you grow up or you take care of. But yeah, man, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. And um, hey, man, we all make mistakes in life, but young man, you made a fucking horrible one, dog. Straight yeah, up. You, piece of shit at you made age. a horrible mistake at 15 years old. Hopefully, you can learn from this. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Something positive could come out of this whole situation. <laughs> and you help other kids eventually down the line, not go down the path you went or something. But yeah. it's sad, man. It's fucking sad yeah. over a watch, over two grand, somebody yeah. getting when shot I, and fucking killed. Like, it's crazy. Man. When I was 15, I fucking, I was playing video games and trying weed for the first time, bro. I wasn't out here shooting yeah, motherfuckers. bro. bro. At, fi- at 15, I'm not going to lie, I kind of jumped off the poach a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I did a little bit, but it wasn't like that, man. Like, we weren't out here trying to fucking shoot people and kill people and like, 
Yeah, that's a little bit. Too Listen, easy. man, you get young. mischievous at a certain age. Yeah, you know, and it's normal. It's but normal. You but rebel. That shit's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Carrying guns at fifteen, shooting niggas, running in multi-million dollar homes, robbing people. If I was gonna Come do on, that bro. at fifteen, you better have had at least fucking hundred grand in there. Yeah. <laughs> if I was gonna do that at fifteen, you know what I mean? Nah, for real, it's, it's too much. It's too little bit of amount of money. Let's say you would have got the whole thirty fucking racks for it. Thirty racks. Um, that won't even four dudes. That won't like even. Four guys, yeah, yeah, it's not paying ne- none of y'all's lawyers, bro. Hell no, it's not paying none of y'all's lawyers. Fuck no. But Hell ultimately, donkey. bro, there was a story I found, guys. I found it really fucking funny. This fucking guy, right? This fucking guy. Let me let me find it. All right. It says my boss <laughs> paid me in cryptocurrency and now wants me to return it after it rose in value. Uh, <laughs> was he white? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. he was white. Makes he was sense. Makes it sense. Says, wow. While, while many of us are uh, tightening the purse strings and double checking bills, one worker was left open mouth by their boss's demands. After working for a tech company, the employee paid their salary in cryptocurrency. And since then, the value has skyrocketed. The worker estimates that it has gone up more than 700%. Meaning they're sitting on a tidy sum. But the CEO of the company recently emailed asking for the cryptocurrency back in return that would be paid in U.S. dollars for the work they originally did. How do y'all feel about that, man? Like, if you go to your boss, you have a conversation with him. You're like, y'all, Yo, you know, he's like, I'm going to pay you in crypto. You're like, fuck it, I'll take it. Yeah. And that shit goes up. And now he's like, hey, bro, I need that crypto back. I'll just give you the 70 grand yeah, in um, dollars. I'm going to tell him to lick my sack. Nah, nah, Larry, nah, you can nah. go fuck well, yourself. You well, you nah, can't fact. do that. That's some Indian giving ass shit. Yeah, that's some like fucked up hey, shit, bro. Hey, 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 that's fucking bro. That's that. hey, bro. insensitive. <laughs> okay. We don't <laughs> say those type of things. My dog, yeah. dog's Indian, by the way. <laughs> Indian, and it's indigenous. Yeah, please, yeah, fact, yeah. politically yeah, correct. Fucking he's Native American, that? and he's not. He's Puerto Rican that lived in a Native American area. Listen. Yeah, why don't you just tell my old dog's life story? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy and his shit. name is Joseph, and he fucking lives on 23rd Street. 23rd, not 24th. Lake yeah. Mary, Florida. <laughs> Damn, fuck you, fuck 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 me, bitch. I was trying not to say that, and you said that. Oh, God. <laughs> nah, but... That. Guys, listen. listen. Don't be a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> don't give a give or taker. Don't yeah, don't don't be a yeah, give or taker, yeah. man. Like, don't do those. if you paid him, bro, it, what would have happened if the cryptocurrency would have fell? No, he got balls. You wouldn't have fucking <laughs> you. You wouldn't have been like, hey, man, I'm gonna pay you what uh, what I owe you now because the crypto fell. Nah. But since it rose, you want it back. But you know what I'm saying? Though, because you, I, I don't. Know, I would don't. I wouldn't be able to give face to come if I gave you something. Like, as a person myself, I wouldn't be able to be like, yo, bro, you know that crypto? You think I could get that shit back? But don't send an a email even to if the I whole gave company. You a jacket, bro, even if I gave you a jacket, I was like, yo, you can't have this jacket. Later on in that jacket, I found out it was worth 10 grand. And I go, bro, remember that jacket I gave you? Then get that shit back? Nah, for real. That's what nah, fuck, fuck you. Nah. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, you know what I'm telling hey, I need my jacket. I need my fucking jacket back. I know. I, I know you're watching this shit, girls. I know you're watching this shit. I need no, all my jackets. No, bro, our hoodies? Yeah, yeah my our, hoodies. Our, our hoodies. Yeah, all fuck right? out of here. Fuck out of here, man. I know I'm you watching. that bullshit. Dude. I know you're watching. He's at but it. yeah, man. <laughs> this world's going to fucking... It's going nuts, guys. It's going nuts. There's a fucking kid, right? There's a fucking kid out in the UK, man. He made his mom an OnlyFans account. Ah, I saw some shit about yeah, that. Yeah, bro. The Says, fuck? my teenage son made me an OnlyFans account to earn himself more pocket money. So my dog's pimping his mom. That's exactly what it is. It says, the idea of our parents taking sexy snaps and posing in their underwear or even completely nude, then sharing them online for all to see is something oh, we don't really want to think about. But one son not only encourages his mom nah. to do that... He even went as far as to make her an OnlyFans account. Leonardo Hathaway, 19-year-old who lives in London, is fully supportive of his mom, modeling career, and posing nude and selling it. Oh, so, and so he fuck? has kids, and his kids are like, is this grandma? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, I was a manager. Yeah, I was a manager. Grandma wouldn't be shit if it wasn't for Wait me. Wait till you you're 18, you piece of shit. Kids, We're going to fucking put you to work. All this right? is what you call a gilf. <laughs> okay? A gilf. Grandma, I like to eat. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, all that. Listen, man, guys, I don't know what type of fucking world we're living in anymore, but for motherfuckers to start OnlyFans for their moms, bro. Yes, I mean, it could be a little cooking show. Like people a think of like only cooking maybe show. Like, oh, only no, 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 no. Like, like, fans, like he got he got her placed on like Playboy and shit. Like damn. yeah, guy, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> his mom must be hot as hell. Hey, bro, listen. No, no, I'd hit his mom. I'd hit his oh, mom. Okay, I'm not gonna okay. lie to you. Okay. I, I haven't but, seen it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that ass, bro. Like you, listen, man. I used to fuck don't be a fucking don't be a creep, guys. Like that's some creepy that's fucking crazy shit. shit. That's I, some creepy shit. I used shit. to like gilf back in the day. No, you still do. Yeah, man. You still do. It depends yeah. on the gilf. It depends on the gilf. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't know what gilf or mill stood for. Like when I was like in middle school, I was like, what is that? Like is that is that like a type like, of to cow? Me, to me, Jada Pickett. Uh, what, that's your name, right? Jada Pickett Smith. Will Smith's lady. Yeah, yeah. Like she's a gilf to me. I don't think she has a grandkid yet, but. I she's in that gilf range, right? Yeah, no, she they were like having a red table still talk. Mo. Her, her mom, and her daughter, that Willow girl, they were all talking about like this. This guy was talking about in his comedian. He's like, "Yo, so what we got here is a table of three, three generations talking about how they love to whore around and sleep with men." Facts. Because that's literally what they was talking about. And yeah. It's crazy because it's like I could never see myself like talking to my son about like. My personal ass sex Man, life. Man, they they live a different type of life. Yeah, bro. Like you know, yeah. like that. Like yeah, I, I know I'm your like, dad. Like yeah, me but... and your mom had an open marriage, and yeah, uh, I let nice. her fuck around with August Alcina or whatever yeah. the fuck his name is, and Yo. then it got messy, so we got rid of him. Yeah, but, we fucking. It's like what the fuck is going on in this house? Nah, they you know need to get it together. Facts. Come on, Will. But hey, shout out to the Smiths. Shout Round of applause shout out to, yeah. the to the Smiths. You know what I'm saying? You're living your best life yeah. and saying fuck everybody else. Facts. Right? Literally. Nah, facts. Right? <laughs> they don't give a fuck, bro. Nah, for they real. They don't give a fuck. But listen, guys, fucking rappers, right? There's a lot of rappers I like. There's a lot of rappers I don't. All right? There's a lot. Facts. There's a lot. But all in all, man, for the majority like of you guys... There's a real unhealthy fucking lifestyle and mentality that goes along with rapping. I don't know why. I don't know at what point it, it made that turn. A rock but star. It's like, rock star. like, bro, like, take care of yourself, bro. You can't be out here fucking popping 15 Zans a day and then taking X at night and then drinking a cup of lean and then fucking going to sleep and doing it all over. Bro, eventually you're going to fucking I'm kill not, yourself. Not drinking no water. Yeah, like, the, the lifestyle that you live says a <laughs> lot about, you know... How you feel about yourself? Nah, for honest. real. If you don't love yourself, you're gonna show it. You know, not nah, for real. Like, no, nah, I mean, you got to live that healthy lifestyle. I really feel like that lifestyle is starting to come back into play. Like people are starting to realize, like, yo, we we, we got to be fucking healthy because if not, it's all fun and games, yeah. though, bro. Until you're older, until you're old. Mm. Like you might be able to get it, boom, you're popping those, blah blah blah. But I'm in my thirties now. I'm thirty four. I'm about to be, and I'll tell you what, I can fucking drink, and I don't. Feel the same the next day. That's why I don't mm-hmm. fucking really like to drink. I feel like shit yeah. the next yeah, day. Yeah, it gets, bro, it changes. Your body changes yeah. over time and it starts reacting differently. And then and I shit. go for weeks. Yeah. For fast. weeks. Fucking <laughs> drunk, wandering the streets, no shoes on, a gun in my hand. Just that kidding. sounds like a fucking party to me. <laughs> it's a party, it's a <laughs> it's party, it's a party. It's a party. <laughs> Blood all over me. I don't know how I got here. Just kidding. Yeah. Waka flocka. Nah, guys. But yeah, like we, we've talked about it before. Live a healthier lifestyle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It yeah. doesn't all have to be drugs and fucking sex. Try you know fruits and yeah, yoga. Try, try fruits Let's and see. water and sleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, love, it, might, it might do you a little yeah. good. You know what I'm saying? Let's sing about love, man. You know? Like Sing Tyrese. It. Why you gotta act like that? Mm. Why you keep dreaming of me? My mom, I'm big enough. How you wanna act like, like that? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. God damn it, guys. Y'all know what fucking blows. Y'all don't know what go. It's magic. Yo. It's magic over Yo. here whenever this, you, you know, we know. break out in a song. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. Shout Whoa. out Tyrese. Wow. Shout out Tyrese. You, hey, balls. voices of angels, guys. Balls. The voices, voices of, of angels. <laughs> voices of bald <laughs> angels, okay? That's my That's new group. Do it. But listen, man, my favorite cartoon as a kid, I don't know why, bro, but I like the Flintstones a lot. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even my ed- generation, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, the Flintstones was pretty fucking cool to me. Yeah, I used to watch the Flintstones. I, kid. I yeah. can't say I got a favorite cartoon or really ever did have a favorite cartoon, but I fucking love SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Hey, round of applause to SpongeBob. Yeah. SpongeBob. Yeah. SpongeBob 
Spongebob. Is that shit. Spongebob. Dark humor. Yo, yeah, it has adult funny, humor, man. bro. That's not like that. It's a kid show, but. Yeah, bro. We watched the movie, the new one, the other day with the kids, and I was cracking up, bro. Some of the stuff <laughs> it says, I look at, at my wife, and I'm just like, <laughs> the kids don't get that. I was like, but they will someday. They're going to be like, I never got this when I was little. Yeah. Because I watch movies from when I was young sometimes now, and they say certain things. Oh, I was like, man. I never got that Nigga, when what? I was little, but now I do. You watch Me movies, too. you watch yeah. shows, or like listen to certain music, and yeah. you're like, why would my parents <laughs> let me listen to this shit? No, I always say that. I'm like, whoa, that just oh. talked to Wow. <laughs> I was like 10 listening to this. I like the fucking, I like the Rugrats. Like the Rugrats oh, was my yeah, shit. Classic, Rugrats is yeah. a classic. That used Rugrats. to be the longest running show until SpongeBob took over. Wow. Yeah. Was it really? If you yeah. guys know, it's it's about the orange cassette. You know the VH1? The orange. The VH1. Yeah, but it's, it's, but it's the, the orange. The orange movie. The VH1. Y'all know what I'm talking about, 90s baby, with the Rugrats. <laughs> like, I'm talking about yeah, the specific yeah. movie of, of the Rugrats. Course, the the orange. Yeah, yes. the All orange. the Nickelodeon movies were in the orange. Really? The, That's the what it was? Gotcha. Oh, shit. Well, I'll tell you what. Kill my ass, but... Still, you guys know what I'm talking about. Huh? Yeah, those were the nah, best. Bro, the movies yeah. are fucking original, man. Until you find out that Nickelodeon is like a fucking dark pedophile ring, allegedly. Nah, allegedly. Allegedly. But, Damn. Yeah. yeah. It's sad, man. It's That's what they say about me. Disney and shit, too. Like, I don't know, bro. Leave yeah. the kids and, alone. Yeah, fa- yeah, facts, bro. That would never Leave st- fucking kids alone. That would man. never stop, man. It's fucking nasty. Yeah, you know what's nasty is this fucking Chinese Tell me. rocket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard the pieces shit. are falling soon. <laughs> And I'm like, hmm. That shit's going to thump somebody right in the motherfucking head, bro. How lucky are you? Right on a cruise ship. Whoever it hits. <laughs> yo. Ouch. That's death. That's a lawsuit. No, you're fucked. Lawsuit. You're lawsuit. dead. For the relatives. For the relatives. <laughs> yeah, facts. Like, you're dead. No, you're no. dead. Yeah, they ain't no survival. No, no, yeah. you're fucked. You're fucked. If it hits like a ship or something, that would be crazy. Like in the ocean, <laughs> you're in a cruise ship. Ah! You, you know what this means? Air? This means war. <laughs> yeah, facts. They're going to be like, Russia fucking sent the missile. And China's over there just like, right. shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that wasn't us. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. No, nah. y- y'all got some balls to fucking send up a rocket and don't know how it's going to come down. Hey, bro, they do that every time they send up a rocket. <laughs> like that's not the other. ocean so yeah way. fact like anytime they go to space they don't know if they're gonna make it and then they're like don't fucking ruin the oceans guys yeah but don't don't ruin the ocean man you know it's dirty and you, you know, know how many kilos are in there <laughs> you know one time bro they float all the time <laughs> to show up here Florida yeah, all the time all the, the time beach. bales of weed yeah. yeah bales of fucking coke like all types of shit I be seeing that the, when I first moved to Florida I remember seeing this old dude was walking on the beach with one of those like he was looking for fucking metal those metal detectors and he found like this two he saw two big blue barrels you know those big uh, plastic yeah. barrels mm-hmm. and floating and when they brought them in they were full of bud like found yeah. them yeah Holy shit. I'm just like... In Metric tons, man. Man. Yeah. Man. They, they, they <laughs> make fun of us. They make fun of us, you know, like overseas and shit, you know, for not using the metric system, right? But you know what? I got five grams in my pocket and I got a nine millimeter on me. Hey. You t- you so you tell me, so you tell me, you tell me, you tell me if I'm using metrics. <laughs> yeah, he's using metrics. Yeah, I'll show her. Are you metric. using metrics? I don't know. I Sounds like a fucking medicine. I don't know. Are you using metrics? Are you using, Are you using me- metrics? If you and your family member have <laughs> used <laughs> metrics and they're feeling you fucking your toenails <laughs> falling off. If, <laughs> if your foreskin falls off. <laughs> you may be entitled to a settlement. Yeah. You may. You may be. <laughs> and then you call and they're like, yeah, it's a fucking massive lawsuit, like a class action lawsuit. Nah, facts. The only person who wins in a class action lawsuit is the lawyer. Really? Because, yeah, facts. Because, you know, lawyers get like, what, 10% is it? 5% whatever? And they take that off the top. Boom. And then all those people that sued Walmart for $5 million, they even get, get like a fucking $200 lawyers. check. Yeah. That, That's I all did it finesse. one time, bro, for Straight Talk when they were doing the unlimited thing. And then they were, uh, it wasn't really unlimited. They were capping you. Bro, and I Cap. remember getting into an argument with them, bro. And being like, oh. And I got a little mad, and the guy was not from this country, and I'm going to keep it a buck. <laughs> and I'm like... Where is he from? Where is he from? I believe he was from overseas somewhere, but... <laughs> he doesn't want to say the name. We all know what the name is. He was, we know what it is. <laughs> he was telling me, bro. And he's like, I'm like, you know what? I don't know where you're from, but in America, unlimited means that I can have as much of it as I want. <laughs> yes. This is not unlimited. It doesn't have a cap. Not a limit. Fuck out of here, bro. But we yeah. get free yeah. refills over here, bitch. I got 30 bucks, though, the from hell? that class action lawsuit. That was the ch- And it was like 30, millions that 30 they 30 bucks. But That's there bullshit. were so many people involved in it. But remember, the lawyer gets his right off the top. Before bro, that nigga, he's cooling in fucking yeah. Dubai, he, right? He's yeah. cooling in France. Yo, them, 
<laughs> niggas in Paris for real. <laughs> Shout out to Kanye. Kanye. Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for real. Nah, facts. Nah. Big facts. But listen, guys. So tell me how Dogecoin took a fucking hit. Everybody thought that Elon Musk <laughs> was gonna talk. They gonna talk. They thought they were gonna fucking talk about it, and he was, it was just gonna skyrocket and be the next Bitcoin. Yeah. And guess bye, what? Bye, he said bye. it's a hustle. <laughs> yeah. He fucking shitted on Dogecoin. Facts. But Straight up. Yeah. But listen, guys. If you have it. Make your own educated guess. Fuck what Elon says. Fuck what anybody else says. Do yeah. your own research. And make, you know what I'm saying? Bro, make your decision based off your own stuff. shit. You know what? This is going to dip, right? And they caused the dip. The same people who make it spike are the same ones who caused the dip. Everybody's going to get Facts. scared. That's they're going to panic sell. They're going to pull their money out. And mm-hmm. then those same people that told you to sell, they're going to go gonna in. They're going to buy back buy in. The dip. And you're going to be fucking yeah. crying when they like, oh, well, Dogecoin is up I to $10. Yeah. Me and yeah. Ivy did I'm it. I'm keeping it. And I'm keeping it. I'm, I'm not, keeping it, I'm keeping it, I'm going to leave it there because at the end of the day, if companies are ex- ex- accepting it, yeah. at some point, it's going to bounce back. It's gonna. It's the future currency. It's I gonna. Believe. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff out there that's gonna. It's gonna take off. If you guys haven't heard about Safe Moon, look in the Safe Moon, man. Safe there's moon. already. There's already millionaires. Literal. It's already made millionaires, and it's not even at a penny yet. Let Think me about tell that. You something. Think about that. When that shit fucking shoots up, niggas that <laughs> fucking invested 120, 130, 50 bucks. I'm telling you, bro, it's not much you got to yeah. invest. Yeah, because it's so tiny and, right now. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you fuck Warren Buffett. $150 <laughs> investment can end up making you $150,000. Yo, Warren man. Buffett was talking about, they, they quoted him when like the Bitcoin shit started and him and this huge other like investment guy from um, Berkshire Hathaway. They were yeah. saying that. They were like, oh, Bitcoin's like trash. It's never going to go anywhere. And they're supposed you know to why? Because it. stocks and fucking and and they crypto don't, don't match. Yeah. So the, yeah. these niggas got rich off stocks. Warren Buffett's been working on stocks since the fucking seventies. Yep. He got so, in when he was like twelve. Now yeah, like, like he got into schedule. that. He's been in the stocks. Of course, he's not gonna want the stock is gonna go down yeah. if the cryptocurrency goes up. Of course, they're gonna tell you it's trash. But yeah. that's what I'm saying, bro. Do your own research because there's people that are. They've made hundreds of millions, tens of millions off Bitcoin already. And that people thought that was a joke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, Dogecoin is almost the same the thing. Stock, like, the it started off as the stock market. 49 is, cents. It was yeah. 45 this morning when I woke yeah. up. So it's going to I think, up, back up a I little think bit. The, I think the stock market is actually kind of like finessed in a way. Like, I don't know. Like, I really think it's, it's not kind of, bro. I, I think it's kind of rigged, if you get what I mean. I'm not saying it's rigged, but <laughs> I think it's rigged. I'm saying it's yeah. rigged. Yeah. Fuck that. It's bro. rigged, bro. Yeah. <laughs> insider, trading, insider trading is a real thing. We can't sit here and act like it's not. People go to fucking prison for it all the time. Damn, white man. collar crime. That's crazy. So at the end of the day, bro, like it happens. Why like, gotta be white collar though? Yeah, why? Why can't, yeah, it, be why can't it be black collar? Blue lives matter. <laughs> blue mm-hmm. lives matter. What does that mean? That's round of applause for my dog, <laughs> Johnny Boy. Shout, shout, out, out, yo, shout out to Santos for giving a thousand dollar bonuses to law enforcement. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Santos for president. Hey yeah. guys, listen, man. Everybody wants to act tough. Everybody wants to act like they don't need the police until you need to call nine one one. Yep. <laughs> and then when they show up, you're fucking sitting here telling them what's going on so they can fucking help you. And maybe All it's right? not even you, right? Because these motherfuckers, these young motherfuckers, they'll be like, oh yeah, abolish the police, blah, blah, blah. But what about when your grandma or your mom get their door kicked in and now some dude's about to fucking kill them and you don't even live in the same town? <clears throat> what's your mom? So who she's supposed or, to call? Or uh, who, who the fuck are you going to go to? Or some, somebody gets mm-hmm. fucking, somebody gets killed in your family, God forbid, man. Yeah. You 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 and your homeboys ain't doing shit. You gonna John Wicket? Y'all don't got the resources <laughs> yeah. to go and actually find somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm Bro. saying? You gotta go yeah. you gotta go to the police. Let's yeah. get it. Let's go you know a little I mean? bit like, deeper than that. There's ooh, some please. people that will not fucking kill anybody for anyone. Facts. And there's people that act like they will, but yeah. put in that situation, nigga, you'll freeze up. Yep. Yeah. You'll drop that gun. You throw yeah. up on yourself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, shit. A lot of these cops, bro, they a lot of these cops aren't well trained, but a lot of them are. And a lot of them are trained to be to go through situations that the normal person has never been in. And they've been in them multiple times. <laughs> so it's like, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to run into a mall with five niggas or automatic AKs and hunt around drums on that shit and go shoot it out. I'm not. Like that driver? But that cop will. You seen that You see driver, what I'm saying? Bro? Like He's yeah. going to run in that motherfucker and lay his life down on the you're line. Ta- you're talking about the security, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like when I was doing security, bro, you, hey, guys, listen, if you, shout out to y'all security officers, man. Round of applause to y'all. Yeah, bro. yeah. Shout out. Shout out security. Hey, some, y'all, some y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all take a risk, too. Yeah, yeah. But the difference is you don't have to. Like, 
You don't get paid enough for that. Not even yep. the cops, though. You don't, they honest. don't get paid enough either. But the thing is, you legally do, didn't take an oath. If you're a security officer and you're on site, yeah. a shootout happens and somebody gets killed, you're not going to be held liable for that fucking person because you didn't you didn't take that oath and say, I will go into the line of fire for it. Like, you're not obligated to do that. Yep. As a police officer, you have to. You took that oath. If yeah. you're a police officer and something happens around you and you didn't take action, bro, you could be held liable for it. Yep. Look at that. You took that oath. The school shooting in uh, Florida. Oh, exactly. Yeah. He, he fucking but li- out. Yeah, yeah, Listen, he bro. Out. And he had a gun on him. Bro. Too. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck. A normal hu- people act like cops are fucking robots. Bro, yeah. they're humans too. Yeah, they get If scared. you see somebody really coming, like, you, you've never been in that situation. Most people have Training's never been in that different, situation. Training's different, bro. You know, like, yeah, they like, go in the train, those are dummies popping up and, and targets. Still targets. Yeah. There's not a moving target that's shooting back at with you a, with a, a fucking rifle, rifle, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same. No. So it's like, guys, we can't defund the... We can't defund the police, bro, because they're going to yeah. do shit that we're not willing to fucking do. Straight up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not like, going to go shoot it out. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, uh, uh, for example, I live a decent ways away from my mom. You know what I'm saying? If something happens, bro, I would want somebody to be there before I could get there. Yep. And who's that going to be? Not me. The fucking yeah. sheriff from over there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Call him. It's not going to be the neighbors. Right. It's not going to be... Like, you, you're going to have to call somebody. So... Like, we got to stop with this bullshit. Like, everybody want to be too tough and too street yeah. and too this and too that. Like, nigga, shut your ass up, bro. Yeah. Your granny's going to call the police, man. Yeah. Fact. And she should. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. She should. Like, yeah. No, that's not cool. That's not cool, man. We got to we gotta be nice to everyone. You know, there's bad there's bad in everything. You know what Imagine I mean? Imagine a world without Facts. consequences. Yeah, because, like. A world yeah. without consequences and, is No one enforcing the law. Like, that's. Yeah. Imagine. You, and the thing is, everybody. Not everybody that's gotten killed by the police deserve, deserves to get killed. There's been a lot of unjust killings, but there's a lot of people that you don't know their backgrounds. Yeah. You don't know what they did. You don't know why the cops just pulled up and, and pulled their guns out first because, nigga, they, they know something you don't. You yep. see what I'm saying? Yep. Like yep. a lot of the times, that's how that shit goes. It's so true. But listen, so true, guys, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, oh. sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get Sounds yourself awesome. some merch if you haven't done so already. Yep. We appreciate you. And listen, guys, only about ten to fifteen percent of y'all are, are subscribed. What are we doing here? What are we doing, what guys? Hell? What are we doing? Do we <laughs> gotta fight? Do we gotta fight? Tell him, Jack. Take your shirt off and tell him. Take your shirt off and tell him. Oh, oh he shaved. Oh, he shaved. Wow. Shade. wow. 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 Okay, <laughs> smooth like a baby's bottom. Okay, okay. <laughs> just like my head. Delicious. We love yeah. you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.